William Davis was born on the 12th of February 1850 and he received a Bachelor of Science degree from Harvard and a Master of Engineering degree. He founded the Science of Geomorphology and the Study of Landforms. He was well travelled and had travelled the world by 1878. In 1876 he taught at Harvard University until 1912 and was a founding member of the Geological Society of America and helped found the Association of American Geographers and was also a member of more than 30 scientific societies receiving more than a dozen medals for his work. He was a visiting professor at Berlin University and at the University of Paris. His meteorological work led to elementary meteorology and that was used as a university book for over 30 years. He died on the 5th of February 1934 with unfinished manuscripts on his desk. The cycle of erosion is a period of time during which an uplift landmass undergoes transformation by the process of land sculpture, resulting in a low featureless plane or pen plane. Davis was influenced by Darwinian and Neo-Lamarckian principles, the idea of landforms progressing through predefined stages of evolution. An organism could evolve along a preordained pathway, could interrupt, slow down or accelerate through acquired characteristics. The cycle is dependent on three factors. Structure. This includes rock type and structural characteristics. Process. Includes agents of denudation, such as weathering and erosion. These processes cannot complete work instantly, so in turn, a function of time. Time. The amount of change caused by destructive processes increases with the passage of time. The cycle passes through three stages of development, youth, mature and old. During the youth stage of development, Davis assumed that the uplift of landmass allows the process of denudation to act almost immediately, but the rivers and streams flowing on the landmass are too small and widely spaced, so this does not happen straight away. However, due to headward erosion, the stream channel length increases, and valley deepening also occurs, and a deep, narrow, steep-sided valley is created. At the beginning of the mature stage, lateral erosion and an integrated drainage network system causes streams and rivers to spread over a large area. The V-shaped valley of the youthful stage is transformed into wider valleys with uniform valley sides. There is also a decrease in channel gradient, flow velocity and the transporting capacity of the rivers. Characteristics of the old stage include further lateral erosion and valley widening. The landscape is dominated by broad and open and gentle sloping valleys with extensive floodplains and meanders. The landscape has turned into a pen plane. The whole cycle can take up to a million years to complete. Charles Cotton was a geologist and the two were acquainted when Davis went to New Zealand to carry out fieldwork in 1912. Davis inspired him to write the textbook, The History of Geomorphology, where Cotton wrote about the help and guidance he received off Davis. Davis coined over 150 new geographical terms which would soon become integrated into the wider geographical vocabulary. Davis's research was immediately accepted by all audience and considered non-serious by recipients at his lectures in Berlin. Alfred Hetner criticised Davis's theory for being too simplistic and that it only enlivened research rather than affecting geomorphology as a whole. Other fallbacks of the theory include that there is more than one explanation for the control of the slopes as well as the age of the slopes. Also, there is also limited evidence proving that landforms will evolve to the end product or pen plane.